Hello everyone, Mauro here. In this video, we're going to look at the changes that Microsoft is rolling out on Windows 11 build 27802 in the Canary channel. These changes do not belong to any specific release of the operating system. Okay, let's dive into the changes that Microsoft is rolling out on the latest preview for insiders with devices in the Canary channel. But before, please subscribe to the channel and click the like button to help YouTube show this video to more people. It doesn't cost anything and you will be helping the channel and supporting my work. Also, don't forget that you can support my work by visiting my website where you will find even more Windows tutorials and tech news. Okay, starting with Bill 27802, Windows 11 is introducing a new option on the power settings to show the battery percentage on the system tray for the taskbar, which is this one right here. When you enable this, the system trail will show the battery percentage of your computer. This was supposed to roll out with the March 2025 update. However, Microsoft decided not to include this feature, but it's still being developed and now it's in the Canary channel. So you may also have noticed that the icon for the battery right here has been updated also on the system tray and that's part of the new iconography that Microsoft will soon be rolling out on Windows 11. However, you're not only going to see it in green but in different color as well and depending on the color that will dictate the state of that battery. For example, green indicates that the computer is currently charging and battery is in good condition. If you see the yellow icon, as you can see right here, that indicates that the device is running on battery and it has entered in the energy saving mode. This mode automatically activates when the battery level drops to 20% or lower. You may also see a red icon and that actually indicates that the battery is really low, actually it's in critical state and you need to plug that computer to a power source as soon as possible. Then if everything is good and the computer is not charging, you will see it with this black color and if you're using a different color theme, you might see it white. Now, for some reason, I wasn't able to enable this feature on my computer. However, in the Canada channel, Microsoft is also updating the jump list for files to include an option to share items, as you can see right here. That works on all the apps that shows your recent files, such as Notepad. But for example, right here, I have a file and I don't have that option. Also in the Canary channel, if you use the Windows Spotlight for the desktop, when hovering over the icon, you will now have a an updated interface to switch or view the different wallpapers that you can choose on your computer. And you can also click right here to see more information about the specific image. You can also double click the icon and that will take you straight to the information about that specific wallpaper. And finally, this is a list of the other fixes and improvements that we're going to see on Windows 11 build 27802 in the Canary channel. You can also check the video description to find the link to the article with all the changes and updates as they become available. And that's it. That's pretty much all the changes that we're going to see in this release of Windows 11 and the Canary channel. Let me know in the comments what you think about these changes. Like the video, share it, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done that yet. And I just hope this video was informative for you and I would like to thank you for viewing.